home theater PC. Now, before you think, well, this isn't a business use case, it actually can be. While it's true that when you think of the HTPC, you might think of home media enthusiasts who like to watch high-definition Blu-ray DVDs or stream video or do audio in a really neat setup. Business also has an emphasis on the home theater arena. Think of a business, or think of a school, quite honestly, that has plasma displays dispersed throughout campus. And as an administrator, you may be responsible for streaming content to those devices. So we're thinking things of audio and potentially surround sound. We're thinking of outputs and inputs. HDMI, of course, being a really easy one in terms of home theater, home media. TV tuners and set-top boxes if you need to bring in a digital cable signal to display TV, news, sports, whatever. The operating system for home theater PCs, Windows over the last 10 years or so has tried to make inroads and they've done a pretty good job. Apple actually with their Apple TV set-top boxes is is very good as well but if you talk to dedicated home media enthusiasts you'll find that Linux is really the way to go because in these kind of special purpose setups you want the operating system to be as light and out of the way as possible you want to put the focus on the media itself rather than the operating system the form factor can be a small form factor SFF mini ATX especially if you want your home theater PC to be as unintrusive or unobtrusive I should say as possible Potential gotchas include power, heat, and noise. The noise issue can drive some media enthusiasts nuts, for sure. Here's an example of a rather sizable home theater PC. It's really as big as a standard ATX system. And I chose this picture, this manufacturer, Thermal Lake, because, well, it just looks pretty intimidating. It reminds me of an old stereo receiver. And I like the fact that it has an LCD touchscreen display, which means that you don't have to bother what's on the big screen. You might be playing a movie or some kind of content on the big screen, and behind the scenes you need to do some HTPC configuration configuration. You can do that out of band here. That's pretty cool. 